going on YouTube? What's going on my people, my lovely people? Uh, this is me Julian Ehab from Notes Punch, this time with a comparison video. Uh, today's comparison video would be between uh, Angelman, the classic Angelman from uh, Tira Mugler and um, Bond number no. 9, Nui de Noho. Uh, Angelman is a classic, has been there since 96 and we don't know who it's uh for me i know this one doesn't have a lot of love in the community and a lot of people dislike it uh and they say it's just a clone of the original angelman but for me i personally love it and i think one of my favorite uh bond number no. nines and uh uh i think it's just great and i even prefer it honestly over uh, the original Angelman. Uh, it's way more expensive though, but uh, I think it's worth the price, in my honest opinion. So uh, we just, I'm just gonna spray them both on, on my two wrists, and like really compare them, because a lot of people say, it is just, why would you buy Nui de Noho, and you can just buy Angelman with, mu with the, like le less, way less money, or much cheaper. So, uh, and they say they just smell identical. So, uh, uh, let's uh, spray it on and uh, let's see, let's just really compare them. And I'm familiar with both of them. I used to own uh, Angelman before and I ran out like, uh, uh, I think a couple of years back or something and uh, never really bought another bottle because I was uh, uh, maybe... Uh, uh, thinking of purchasing with the Noho instead, but um, I never like really bought <laughs> any any of them yet. So uh, let's just uh, go on, move on with the uh, first initial spray of Nui uh, de Noho. So here's the spray. Okay. What I love about Nui de Noho, honestly, it's how it's super juicy it's uh they're both they're both kind of gourmandish but totally different gourmands uh, let's talk about Nui de Noho first Nui de Noho for me it is it's just super juicy with the pineapple fruity juicy the pineapple so ripe but green in the same time it's just it's just got a green vibe but the pineapple it's like really sweet and ripe in the same time and it just make makes your mouth salivate and water when uh, i personally do when i smell this uh, uh phenomenal pineapple it is not uh, similar to adventist pineapple or anything it this one it's more um, juicier more ripe type of pineapple it's it's phenomenal uh Patchouli, like it's right there, right off the bat. It's like, like a lot. Those two fragrances is just. It's all about patchouli. So patchouli, it's like in your face. This one with pineapple and jasmine. So this one has got a floral aspect. The uh, Angelman has got a floral, floral. As it's got jasmine as well. But the floral is not dominant. It's not in your face. Not like this one. Jasmine here is just like really in your face, like Jasmine here. I am here. This is me. I am Jasmine. So, in my opinion, especially out of my my uh, uh, when you first put it on, it's all about Jasmine, juicy, watery, ripe pineapple and patchouli. So that's that's what I get, and it's got, it's got a, like a green vibe into it as well. So it's uh. This one, it's more juicier, more fruitier, and uh, greener in the same time. Uh, so let's just move on to the uh, original Angelman by Chiri Mugler. So uh, here is the... Uh, yeah. This one on the other hand. This one... Uh, when you first put it on, it's really tart, really tart, and it's got a spearmint vibe. It's it's like spearmint, it's like in your face, and it's really tart. And it's, uh, it's all about caramel, 
it's like the caramel is there caramel the patchouli it's like both ways goes like the patchouli is like very dominant it's uh, I think in we don't know patchouli it's more than uh, Angelman but uh, in Angelman like it's the, like it's the main factor as well but um this one it's got coffee it's got um caramel uh, it's got honey uh, it's got this tart note at first and that spearmint vibe you know it's kind of like uh, it smells like spearmint tart this one it's harsher really like hard I mean I, I, I personally love it and I know a lot of people would agree with me that it's like really harsh the openings like really harsh and uh, tart for a lot of people but uh, I, I personally I think this one is it's a masterpiece and it still is and um, but it both of them they really got the same DNA they smell very similar but very different in a way uh, let's just say this if you get them close to your nose and smell them both they smell totally different totally different they both go their own different path you know but the silage or like uh, uh, the projection from a distance from both of them would smell very similar so you probably if you just get whiffs of of any of them you wouldn't know which one is which I like silage wise from distance wise because like that's what you get but like uh, detail wise if you like if you break the notes down like one by one there are totally different and they have totally different notes they have some similar notes that's what makes them both similar but on the other hand they don't have all the notes like they, like they have their own separate notes as well so this one is fruitier this one is more about caramel and coffee this one is tart this one it's fresher uh, this one is floral this one it's uh, a, a bit not sweeter but uh, it's sweeter in a different way each one it's sweet in a different way this one it's sweet because of the vanilla and the uh, pineapple it's ripe so it gives it uh, some type of sweetness but different type of sweetness and this one it's sweet from the caramel and the honey so it is as sweet but it is it is just different so you know like there's too many different things or foods or uh, this they are sweet chocolate is sweet honey sweet sugar is sweet vanilla is sweet but each one it is it's on its own each one is different sweetness wise so uh, that's what I personally think I think silage wise from distance I think uh, people do would have mistaken uh, uh, them from each other so they probably would get confused they, they wouldn't know which one is which but uh, clo like um, from a close range uh, you can really tell the difference this one it's dude come on it's just it's all about pineapple there's no pineapple here there's no way there's here is caramel and coffee here's pineapple and jasmine Patchouli in both ways, so uh, it, they are different and similar in the same time. So uh, I I personally think, and we don't know, it's a better quality. It's obvious. It's it's. Uh, I think it's better ingredients, you know. But uh, a lot of people they say it's feminine. I don't. I personally don't think so. I think this one is just amazing, and it just I I I've, I've had like too many samples of this, and I wore it a lot. And I think I have like maybe still a couple of more, a couple more. Of, those samples and um, it works perfectly on uh, my skin and I, I personally think it just even lasts uh, more than Angelman on me Angelman it lasts forever but we don't know who lasts even more and projects even uh, further like really like re it's really loud louder than Angelman so this is my take my comparison video between Nui de Noho and um, Angel Man by Thierry Mugler. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, let me know what you guys think down below in the box section down below. Uh, have you guys tried Nui de Noho? Uh, what do you guys think of Angel Man? Uh, have you guys compared them between each other before? 
So uh, I would love to hear your thoughts and uh, let me know what you guys think. So thank you so much and peace.